Hey everyone, this is Brian with 3 and if you're looking for a great place to get off the grid in southern Oklahoma, we've got Kayamichi Wilderness Land for sale with financing. Uh, what you're looking at right now is our website. This is the Pushmata County page where we have eight total properties for sale, six of which are in what is known as the Kayamichi Wilderness, and uh, I'll show you a map, but you can see here we've got down payments and monthly payments, so we've got guaranteed financing. We've got a couple five-acre tracks, a 20-acre. Um, the two and the one-acre are not in the Kayamichi Wilderness, so if you wanted something a little bit less rugged and mountainous and something uh, more, you know, not developed, but something with paved roads and things like that, you could look at the two and the one-acre. Uh, or we've got another five, a 10, and another five. So four or five acres, a 10-acre tract, and a 20 acre track so and we've actually got some more in the pipeline as well if you don't like any of these let's head over to the map and I can show you kind of where we're at so if you look right here we are southeast of Oklahoma City almost directly south of Tulsa and then for those of you in the Dallas Fort Worth region uh, you're a short drive to the northeast as well so uh, you know, the, the mountains there in the Kayamichi Wilderness are a popular destination for those looking to hunt, ride ATVs, um, just get off the grid and camp, uh, stuff like that. So we can actually show you a quick 3D view of the area so you can get an idea. Um, and if, you, if you're not familiar, this is through Wikipedia, um, but Big Mountain is the technical name. It's in Pushmataha County, Oklahoma. And it's part of the Kayamichi Mountains, so uh, and that's a sub-range of the Wichita Mountains, and pardon me if I butcher that. So let's go back and look at the parcels that we have, and you can see what's cool about our mapping software is we know the bodies of water, we can see the terrain, um, all types of stuff, so you can kind of see the aerial view. You can see these uh, these mountains over here and how this how this area is fairly rugged and mountainous but we can take a quick tour here and kind of zoom over almost as if we're flying over uh, this is these are two five acre tracks here to the south and we keep going north this is a 20 acre track it actually sits off of like a dirt road um, Sherman Road is kind of the main artery that goes through the Kayamichi Mountains and uh, or the Kayamichi Wilderness and then you head off a dirt road to that one. And we've got this one up here, another five acre tract. Continuing north, we've got another five acre. And then all the way up here is a 10 acre tract. So let's go to 2D view and you can get a better, uh, a better view here. So you start out actually coming in here off of two and then you head in here off of uh, Johns Valley is where you would take and you can see we've kind of outlined and I'll share this map with you so you have it but basically this is the route to get in and then there's Sherman Road and you can come on follow Sherman all the way up and then when you look when you use this map it's gonna tell you a little bit about the property when you zoom in so here's a five acre tract once you zoom in on the properties you can go ahead and switch to 3d view again get an idea of how mountainous some of these actually are. So you can see here, this gives you a really good idea and then you can rotate if you wanna see a different direction. So you can see here how there's kind of a ridge here, really steep here, but this parcel's actually pretty flat. You can see the dirt road that goes right through it. Let's go back out and zoom in. This is another, this is another five acre track. You can see the dirt road that comes along here. So when you see these checkered lines, these are less common, probably unmarked roads. This is actually called the Shorty Creek Trail. So that heads over. And the reason it's called that is because you've got the Shorty Creek that runs back here. So you're pretty close to that. Let's continue up on Sherman and head up. This is a 20 acre track. Now we also have one, maybe two other 20 acre tracks available. So if you're interested in a larger piece of property, um, we've got a, a 20 acre. Shorty Creek actually does go through the eastern portion. And there's technically two ways to get to this property. You can follow this checkered path 
or you can go directly east off of Sherman and there's one other property here that's a big square and uh, and there's a path to get to the property that way continuing up Sherman Road and we are gonna go check out uh, there's a five acre right there which sits just off maybe um, and you can actually take a measurement you can see here you're about Oh, about 79 feet right off of the edge of Sherman Road. So you can cut through and get to that five acre property right there. And then if we keep continuing up past this body of water here where Shorty Creek kind of flows into and you head up and now we've got another five acre property. Sherman runs right through. And the last property we have is this 10 acre property. And you can actually see here You've got uh, a guy who's made a, a little cabin over here. He's right on this uh, right on this creek. And then you can see here as well that there the creek actually does run through this property and you've got direct road access. You can see here if you look closely, there is the dirt road access that comes in. And so then just once again to reiterate, you can always do a 3D view and check out any of these properties, zoom in on them and kind of get a feel for what the terrain is like. So here's that 10 acre that we were just looking at. You can let it populate and then you'll be able to get a good idea of how the land lays and stuff like that. So that's using the map. That'll be in this uh that'll be in this post. Here's let's let's talk about where exactly Kaimichi Wilderness is at. So the Kaimichi Wilderness does have a association. You do not have to pay dues if you don't want to. So it's optional. Um, but they do have a fire department. And those do support the fire department. So these are directions directly to the fire department from Oklahoma City. You can see you are three hour and one minute away. Let's just punch in Tulsa. So here's directions from Tulsa. Two hours and 35 minutes. Pretty much a straight shot south. And then let's go Dallas, Texas. And from Dallas, you're two hours and 45 minutes away. So depending on where you're at, you know, it kind of sits in the middle of uh, those three major metro areas. Here's Shreveport and Arkansas over to the east. So some of you may be over that way. Um, but bottom line is you are a short drive away from everything that the Kaimichi Wilderness has to offer. So once again, you can check out a little bit more information about Big Mountain in uh, on Wikipedia if you'd like or let's go check out some pictures so I just did a quick little search for Kaimichi Wilderness hunting um, just to kind of see what the area is like what the properties are like so there's an example of a property um, there's some deer there there's some more property there's one of the roads so that's pretty representative of some of the roads there in the Kaimichi Wilderness and continue just flipping through you can get a good idea of what the land is like there's a stand there's actually marking the national forest so you know when you're heading out to the national forest and then you can see here whoops that one might not be applicable here let me see if i can find some so here's an example. So here's an example of a little more or less like off the grid kind of shed cabin that people are doing in the Kaimichi wilderness. Here's another one here. So you can see a lot of people are uh, spending some time out here, getting away from it all, getting away from the city, enjoying nature. And we've got these properties really cheap, cheap down payments. You're looking at 1500 down 233 a month on the five acre tracks. Uh, the big 20 acre track we've got for 5,000 down. And uh, we've got a couple smaller ones as well. Here's the 10 acre for 2000 down. So you can get into these properties for very little out of pocket, start to build them up, do an off grid cabin, just come out, bring a fifth wheel, you know, however you want to use the property is up to you. Um, these are not properties for building, you know, a single family home, anything like that. These are really rural off the grid properties. But if you're into that sort of thing, this place is for you. So click the link near this video, head on over, come check out our Pushmataha land for sale. And then also you can check out the map and kind of zoom in, zoom out and get a good feel for the area and which property might be right for you.